Hello everyone and welcome to the Master and Drum Whiskey Room. My name is Jason C. And if you're a subscriber, thanks so much for the support. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you're looking for the latest in whiskey and bourbon news and reviews, you have found the right place. So hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell notification so you know when I'm putting out a new video. Welcome to the first episode in a permanent series on the Master and Drum called Double Bass. Now on my drum set, I have two bass pedals or two bass drums. And today we have two bourbons that I've wanted to put head to head for a while after I received some requests to do so. Also, after you watch this video, be sure to remember you will have the opportunity to let me know what two whiskeys you want me to put head to head next. Now today's matchup features two of my favorite barrel proof bourbons that are available today. Stag Jr. from Buffalo Trace and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof from Heaven Hill. First introduced in August 2013, Stag Jr. is still uncut, no water added, and unfiltered like its bourbon father, George T. Stag. Now this is distilled at Buffalo Trace. Each batch will vary in both proof and age. But expect the bourbon to be around 8 to 9 years old, with proofs ranging in the 126 to 130 plus area. Stag Jr. is considerably more affordable and easier to find than George T. Stag, and has an MSRP of about 50 to 60 bucks. Now, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof was released for the first time in March 2013 and has quickly become a must-find bottle for Barrel Proof bourbon enthusiasts. Each batch is an uncut, unfiltered selection of Elijah Craig 12-year. Each batch will vary both in flavor and in proof, and it's the nature of such releases. MSRP for this bottle is about $55, bucks, but you will see it for up to $80 or $90 as well. All right, guys, so this is how it's going to work. I will give a score between 1 to 5, 1 being the lowest and 5 being the highest in four different categories. Nose, palate, finish, and consistency. Consistency just means how well the flavor profile and finish stay, or if the bourbon will get flat from sip to sip, or kind of lose something as you keep tasting it. All right, guys, so as we taste and score through these, take, keep an eye on the screen so you can see the scores I give for each category so you could follow along. Um, I did pick two bottles that were pretty close in proof, the closest that I had. Stag Jr. comes in at 126, a little bit over, and this is a little bit over 130 proof. So these were the closest bottles I had proof-wise to go against each other. All right, so the nose first. Let's start off with Stag Jr. Here we go. Mm. Stag Jr. has just one of the loveliest noses in a bourbon. It's got a lot of brown sugar. It's got a lot of cinnamon right up front. It's got so much brown sugar, a lot of cinnamon right up front. This has a ton of vanilla, a really nice hint of oak, but not overly oaky. One of my favorite, um, <laughs> one of my favorite no uh, notes I get on Stag Jr. is cherry coke, which is really funny because I don't drink cherry coke, but I love this. <laughs> I love the smell of it in the uh, in this bourbon. Yeah, a lot of cherry flavor, a lot of oak, vanilla, some deep, rich caramels there too. If you go a little bit deeper, you can catch a little bit of a citrus note in there too, which is, which. I know this is a, a, a lower rye bourbon, but you could still catch a little bit of that, uh, that citrus note in there too. It's really nice on the nose. Yeah, beautiful nose for the, uh, for the Stag Junior. I really like it. That cherry cola is what really kind of stands out for me. I really like it a lot. Let's go to the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Here we go. You still get those beautiful vanilla, caramel, oak notes here. But the biggest difference on here, instead of that cherry cola note, you're getting a more of a nutty characteristic, more of a peanut, honey roasted peanuts. A lot of barrel char, probably some more chocolate in here too. A little bit of a, of a Snickers bar type aspect to it. A little bit of butterscotch there. There's definitely more of a prevalent oak finish on here too. You're definitely getting a little bit more oak in here. This is a little bit sweeter. All right, let's compare them now. All right, guys, my scores are in. For Stag Jr., I'm gonna give the nose a four here. It's really sweet, it's super inviting, really, really love it. Uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, though, just brings a little bit more depth to the nose and the flavor profile. There's some oak, there's a little bit more of a deeper butterscotch note. It's, it's more like a rickhouse scent, which you know I fall in love with. So I'm gonna give the nose here a five. All right, it's time to go to the palate. Here we go. Cheers, Stag Jr. first. Oh, more of that oak, that sweetness, that cherry. That cherry note that you get on the nose definitely translates to the palate as well. Mm, it's mouth coating. 
mm, really nice on the palate. All these barrel proofs, you know, most barrel proofs are going to give you a nice long finish, and this one is no exception. But we're really trying to figure out the flavor here. Let's go for a second sip on the Stag Junior. Still getting that pecan flavor, but it's very, very sweet. That cherry cola flavor is really kind of taking over a little bit. Really nice uh, cherry flavor, but it's not, for me, it, it's not like a artificial cherry flavor. This is almost like a, like a Luxardo cherry or a maraschino cherry. It's very deep and rich. You get a lot of oakiness in there, a lot of roasted vanilla flavor. Delicious. One more, one more sip for the Stag Junior. So now, now I'm trying to think consistency here, how, how it's going from sip to sip. This one's staying very, very good. It's getting a little bit sweeter as you sip on it, which is definitely welcome. Really like it. That cherry note is kind of taking a back seat now, and now you're getting more of the traditional oak, caramel, a little bit of a butterscotch in there too. Mm, slight pecan note in there too still, but really just overall delicious bourbon. Again, nice long finish, a little bit of a spice there. All right, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof on the palate. Here we go. Cheers. Wow. This one has so much more oak influence to it. A lot of oak, a lot of roasted vanilla. Mm. Some caramel there in the end. You're still getting a little hint of that chocolate note there too. I'm going to go for another sip here. Yeah, that just comes through with this, mm, that roasted vanilla characteristic in there. And that Snickers bar, that, that peanut, that honey roasted peanut characteristic that's kind of meshing with the chocolate. It's really giving you that, you know, like you're sipping on a candy bar here. But it's getting a little bit more buttery, which I, I really like. Almost more of like a Heath bar aspect than a Snickers bar. But really good. Let's go for one more sip here. That's really good. That's staying really consistent too. Both of these have some pretty good consistency. I do feel like one is... Winning out a little bit over the other in that. Mmm. Really good. The um, the finish on this is definitely slightly longer than the uh, Stag Junior, I would think. But is it a better finish? That's what I have to figure out. All right, guys. So let's score the palette here. So for Stag Junior, I'm going to give this a four for the palette as well. It has vanilla. It's got caramel. It's got that cherry flavor to it. It's really sweet. A little hint of pecan there as well. Some cinnamon. Uh, the only thing is that it just didn't have as much balance as I would like um, in my bourbons. It just kind of stayed on the sweeter side. Now, for Eliza Craig Barrel Proof, I'm going to give the palette on this one a five. Just because I really felt like the, the balance and the flavors that you get in this definitely are a little bit more robust. Um, it's definitely got a little bit more of a, of a palette coating aspect to it. It sticks around a little bit more. The chocolate... The, the peanut characteristic to it, the roasted vanilla, and also it bounces out with that oak. And that's what I really like about it. All right, guys, let's go to the finish now. Here we go. The Stag Junior has such a beautiful finish to it. It's not overpowering. Uh, it's got such a beautiful spike of pepper, that cherry note to it, that pecan. It's almost like cherry pie with some pecans dusted on top. Mm. It's so good on the finish. I'm really liking the Stag Junior. Let's go to the finish on the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. All right, now the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof for me on the finish, it's got a ton of oak, a little bit of spiciness, but really that Barrel Proof strength, the, the alcohol punch, the ethanol, just really kind of takes over. I think it takes away somewhat from all the flavors that you get. The finish on it is really good. Let me go for one more sip here. Yeah, it, it does have a very long, really great finish, but I just feel like the alcohol is taking over a little bit more than it does here in the Stag Junior. Um, but you're still getting that roasted peanut, the roasted vanilla, some caramels, and a lot, a lot of oak. Definitely a lot more than you get in the Stag Junior. All right, so let's score the finish here. The finish on Stag Junior here, I'm going to give this one a five. The finish on this one is long, it's lingering. But it's not overpowering with alcohol. It keeps its really beautiful sweet flavors, the cherry, the pecans, the vanilla, a little bit of an oak flavor. And I really enjoy it. It's, it's flavorful and it sticks around without being overpowering. Now for the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, I'm going to give the finish here a four. 
Um, the finish here is very long, lingering, but I feel like certain sips, that alcohol was just kind of taking over on the finish, and I was losing some of that really beautiful sweetness that I really love. You still get that oak characteristic, you still get the vanilla, you still get the caramel, a little bit of the chocolate, but on certain sips, that alcohol was just really, really taking over, and that's why I want to give Stag Jr. the edge for the finish. All right, guys, for our last category, it's consistency. Now that I've taken a few sips of each, let's see if those flavors have stayed. Here we go. Mm, so Stags Jr. has still stayed in that realm of consistency with its sweetness, with that cherry cola note, that really nice little kick of a peppery spicer on the finish. Really beautiful. One more sip. It's just so super sweet and it's sticking around. Nothing is really changing. I got to give it to uh, Stag Jr. That one is... Stag Jr., the consistency of, of this dram and how the flavors are just kind of staying even keel, it's a, it's a beautiful bourbon. All right, let's go to Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Yeah, this, this tastes just like the first sip I had. I mean, it was, it was chocolatey. It was kind of peanut buttery. The finish is still lingering, a little bit more of an alcohol punch. Mm, very, very good. One more sip here. Still staying very consistent, peanut, roast vanilla, caramel, Snickers, Heath Bar type flavors to it. A lot of vanilla, really good. The, the oak flavor in here is definitely strong. That's the one thing I could say that could change over time. The oak could get a little bit maybe bitter as more air gets into this bottle. But right now, um, each sip that I've had has really stayed nice and consistent. Both really have. All right, guys, let's grade our last category, and that is consistency. For the Stag Junior, I'm going to give this one a four as well. The only thing that nicked it a little bit was that the first couple sips, you got a really nice, um, really nice oak flavor, and that kind of went away as I sipped on it. And I really like that balance. Um, once after I took maybe three sips, it just got really sweet, and I know some people do like that, but for me, I like a little bit more balance here. Um, so I'm going to stick with a four for Stag Junior. All right, guys, so for Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, as far as consistency goes, I'm also going to give this a four. Um, the only thing that dinged this one for me was the oak note on the end. In the, in the beginning, there was a really nice balance there between the sweet and the oak flavor, and I really enjoyed it. But as I kept sipping it and as my palate was getting used to uh, all those sweet flavors, the oak became a little bit more prominent, and it was almost overpowering the rest. And also... There was a slight, slight, slight bitterness on it right at the very, very end on one of my last sips. And it just just made me pause a little bit that I'm hoping that it doesn't get a little bit more bitter as we get down uh, on this uh, specific bottle. So this one comes in at a four, and this one also comes in at a four as well. All right, guys. Well, if you've done the math, and I know you have, the winner of the first Mash and Drum double bass matchup goes to Elijah Craig Bowproof. Um, coming in with a total score of 18 points. Uh, followed by Stag Jr. here coming in with a total score of 17 points. Elijah Craig just had a little bit more to offer when it came to the initial palette and also the nose. Stag Jr. made a little bit of a run there, uh, especially with the finish and also with the consistency of it. Both of them are great bottles, but I think they both offer something for everyone. Elijah Craig, I think, is just a little bit bolder, uh, has a little bit more of a, of a balanced flavor profile to it. Uh, Stag Jr., if you like a sweeter, uh, more of a candy type aspect, a little bit more of a cherry note in your bourbon, then Stag Jr. is going to be the one you want to go for. Both of these are absolutely delicious bourbons, really great choices for anyone looking to get into that category. Um, and if you do, I think you'll enjoy either one of these. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for watching the Master Drum Whiskey Room for the first matchup in my double bass series. Now the fun part. This is your chance to tell me down in the comments what two whiskeys, bourbons, or scotches you want me to put head to head next. Ever stare at two bottles on the shelf at your local store? Not sure what to get between the two? Let me help you pick what the right choice is for you and what those choices could be. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. You can also find me on Instagram and also find me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching. And as I always say, it is not about the whiskey. It is the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'll see you next time.